What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to Jikoni Yangu where we do simple and amazing recipes at the comfort of your home. My name is Sebi for those who are new to this channel and if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the red button for more amazing recipes like this. In today's video, we're going to make some amazing dry fry matumbo. I kid you not, this recipe was really really good. It was really delicious. The matumbo was really really yummy. And I promise you, you will not go back once you try this recipe out. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Without further ado, let's get into the video and let me show you how we make this amazing dry fry matumbo. You're going to begin by adding oil inside your sufuria and you're going to add your already boiled matumbo inside the sufuria and you're going to mix it up all together with the oil because at this point we are beginning to build up flavors at this point. We are going to let it cook until some of our matumbos at least are browned up not some but at least all of them are a bit browned up so that we can be able to add in our spices so as you can see here that is what we have and i'm going to show you how brown we need the matumbo to be so at this point i'm just mixing them i'm just mixing them up and giving it time so that it can caramelize and get that brown color at this point our matumbo is cooking so well and this is what we have when i say browned that is what i mean by me saying we want our matumbo to be browned don't miss out on this step because this is this step is key to making our delicious matumbo as you can see mine is browned up the next thing you are going to do you are going to add in your one teaspoon of paprika as you can see one teaspoon of your soy sauce and we are going to mix that all together you're going to mix it all together and we want we've added in soy sauce so that we can get that amazing brown color and so that we can add that extra touch to our matumbo the next thing we're going to do we are going to add in our onions and also be careful how you are going to add your salt since the soy sauce that we've added has salt already and we are also going to add a, add in some beef cubes so be careful with the amount of salt that you are going to add inside your matumbo so you're also going to mix the onions all together with the matumbo imagine those are the ingredients that you need to make this amazing matumbo matumbo does not need a lot of complications so far we've used paprika we've used our soy sauce and the next thing we're going to do we are going to use use our beef cube and only salt those are the only things that you will need to make this amazing amazing matumbo look at the brown color look the color that the soy sauce has given to this matumbo look at how the onions look so tantalizing this is very delicious guys i kid you not so if you've reached this far and you haven't yet pressed the red button i hope by the, by this time i've convinced convinced you to place to press the red button i'm going to add in some coriander because um at this point our matumbo is also cooking our matumbo is almost coming to an end and you're going to just add in a tiny little bit of water so that our matumbo is not so dry we want it to be at least soft we don't want it to be so hard to chew so we want it to be soft so you're going to add in little water and you're going to let it to simmer for only two minutes with everything and that's how you know your matumbo is ready if you haven't yet comment please comment down below don't just watch and don't and not let me know your feedback comment down below give this video a thumbs up because it really supports this channel look at this matumbo guys look at it it was very delicious and this is the outcome i paired mine with some ugali kachumbari and some banago i loved the video i hope you've loved the video too bye till my next recipe video